Okay, big development we're moving to right now. The Central Bureau of Investigation, the CBI, has taken custody of K. Kavita for questioning. These are details we're getting in as we speak. Remember, just yesterday, the CBI informed a Delhi court that they had questioned the BRS leader in the Tihar Central Jail in the corruption case. Remember, this is the case related to the Delhi excise policy. She's under judicial custody as we speak in Tihar. Well, not anymore. We'll just bring you more context because now she's in CBI custody. But she was under judicial custody in Tihar in this money laundering case. Now, we'll bring you more context on all of these developments in just a few minutes. We'll have a reporter joining us. Remember, the court had on April 5th originally allowed the CBI to quiz K. Kavita. That took place yesterday. Uh, she had challenged that order when it had initially come out. Now, our colleague Arunima with us to bring us all of the details on this big breaking news. Let's go over to her to understand more. Uh, Arunima, can you just tell our audiences, we know the, the CBI just questioned K. Kavita. Just tell our audiences what this big development means. CBI officials are confirming that they have taken K. Kavita into custody because they wanted to question her further. Earlier on the 5th of uh, this month, the court had allowed that while she was in Tihar jail, CBI officials could question her. And uh, later, CBI informed the court that a day later, which is on 6th of April, they did question K. Kavita. Now, the latest development is that the CBI is wanting more custody of uh, the BRS leader because they want to question her further. ED had arrested her for money laundering, but the predicate offence, the main offence, which is corruption, uh, which is a, which is a, which is a case under Prevention of Corruption Act, that is being probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. And the custody that they have taken today is to question her further to gather more evidence in the case of corruption. Who is it that she paid money to? Um, they would also be wanting to ascertain whether Kejriwal's name is taken by K. Kavita, because then that will mean they have more evidence. To name the Amadi Party national convener in their judgment. Okay, can I also ask you, Arunima, what have your sources been telling you about how she has been with the ED questioning that was taking place earlier? Was she cooperative? Was information being gained? Can you just bring us those details? No, see, both the agencies, both ED and CBI, have always accused all uh, you know politicians who have been arrested in the excise policy case of non-cooperation. Uh, the accused, in turn, have turned around and said that if you are wanting us to give evidence to implicate ourselves, then that will not happen. So that back and forth has been continuing, and we'll have to see at the trial stage as to what the court makes of uh, the back and forth. But the fact remains that the ED has uh, managed to ascertain that they against K. Kavita and they have satisfied the court during the remand stage and during the uh, denial of interim bail stage also. They have managed to convince the court that there is evidence against K. Kavita to suggest uh, that she was involved with the South group allegedly, that she was allegedly in conspiracy with Manish Sisodia, with Arvind K. Jival, that, uh, you know, 50 crore rupees was being paid at her behest by businessmen. Her own uh, ch former chartered accountant has come on record. That's what the ED has claimed. And all these evidence the court has appreciated. So whatever K. Kavita might say by way of not giving evidence to ED as is being alleged, uh, right now the court is seen deciding with the investigating team of uh, ED and CBS. Will she be allowed to, Ranma, keep in contact with her lawyer? Can she keep meeting her lawyer? And how long a time frame is this? What next, essentially? See, she has already gone to the court seeking interim bail once, which was rejected. Right. She has the legal option uh, if, if the CBI goes back to the court and says that, you know, from the judicial custody, she should be sent to the CBI custody, which is allowed for 14 days. So as per law, she can go back to the CBI custody for the next 14 days if the CBI's demand application so suggests. And then the process of bail uh, will again start. But because she's also in custody in the PMLA case, uh, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act case by ED, getting bail in that case is very difficult. Precedent has shown us. And can you also tell us, Arunma, uh, very recently as bail was denied to her, so the grounds she was asking for bail for, I believe, were that her young son had exams coming up. She also said, uh, you know, that she wanted to be with him in this time, that the situation was rather delicate. What did the court say when they denied her interim bail for that ground? The interim bail, like you just pointed out, was on a personal ground and usually uh, such grounds, you either health matters or somebody is unwell in the family, in this case the examination of the child, uh, but the ED opposed it and it also said that the way the interim bail application is being argued, it seems as if both interim bail and regular bail are uh, sought at the same time. So ED objected to it. For regular bail, like I told you, it is the right of the accused to apply for regular bail once the suspect goes into judicial custody. But the way the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 
uh, has been made the courts have always appreciated the evidence gathered by the enforcement directorate and uh, it has turned out to be difficult for the suspects to get bail under pmla k kavita's case is no different Hmm. And so, uh, Arunma, if I could just ask you to really break that down, what you're essentially saying is that even though she did have those personal health grounds, well, not personal health for herself, but her son, that didn't stand in this particular case because it was under PMLA. Is that accurate? No. So, the interim bail application that she made, the court did not think and she had made the interim bail application arguing that her child had an examination and an examination was important and therefore for the mother to be around was important and therefore she should be granted bail. That was the specific uh, clause on mm. which she was seeking interim bail. But the ED opposed it and the court said that, you know, this cannot be a ground to grant you bail okay. at this particular stage because investigation is still pending. So, that's where matters stood and then subsequently we saw CBI move the court saying we want to question her because okay. we want to gather evidence in the predicate of it. Arunma, thank you for shedding a light on that. Let's move on right now. Uh, we have with us Ravula Sridhar Reddy from the BRS. Remember, K. Kavita is a key leader. She's the daughter of uh, the chief, well, the former chief minister of Telangana, KCR, and she's a key leader of the Bharti Rashtra Samiti in her own right. We'll go over to Ravula Sridhar Reddy to understand how the party is reacting to this development. Uh, Mr. Reddy, we know that K. Kavita has always argued her innocence. The BRS has always argued that she herself is innocent. How are you responding to this development? Well, there is no surprise. Uh, I think this is the uh, kind of uh, plan they had made to put her more time into the jail. Rather, the interim bail was denied and the regular bail plea is pending before the court. Meanwhile, CBI questioned and you know they, they made an arrest. So, this is a kind of a witch hunt. I mean, this is a plan because the past one and a half year to two years, this case is uh, going on, the investigation was going on. She has, uh, in fact, uh, cooperated with the uh, both investigative agencies, uh, you know, either it is CBI or ED. And after one and a half years, uh, they have come and arrested. Now again, CBA is arresting. So this is, uh, you know, not a surprise. Definitely they will be following this plan to put her more time so that they can pressurize, rather they can um, push us into some kind of a pressure. And in, in the, uh, the, the ultimate plan is to get, uh, you know, uh, benefit in the upcoming uh, uh, parliament elections. And that's what the uh, entire episode is, uh, says about. So we will fight. We will continue to fight the legal battle. And we will explore all the options, legal options before us. Okay. And from the day one, we have been claiming this is a no case. And all the uh, cases were fabricated and uh, uh, cases were based on the information given by a few accused turned the pros. So, we will continue, continue to fight. Okay, Mr. Reddy, thank you for bringing us the BRS's response to this story. Okay, with that, we are drawing our show to a close. Thank you for staying with us over the last one hour. This is the breaking news show on CNN News 18. Next, my colleague Avantika will be joining you at 2.